Hi there, this video is a follow up to my previous video where I showed you how to download and install Office 365 for free. If you haven't watched the video, pause this video right now and click the link above. If you've already watched the video, you can follow along. In this video, I'll be sharing more information, tell you what happens to your subscription after 90 days show you how to access Power BI Premium, also known as Power BI Service for free, and introduce you to a program by Microsoft that allows you to be the first to see what is next for Office, give your feedback to help improve Office for the future, all for free. My name is Abaton Sherif Dean and welcome to Excel Island. If this is the first time on my channel and you love to be a Microsoft Excel Pro, with straight to the point tutorials please do consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the notification bell to be the first to know when i drop new content without further ado let's get started hi there welcome back from the short break if you'd watch the video where I showed you how to download and install Office 365 for free and you successfully installed Office on your laptop, which I'm pretty sure you did. This gives you access to Microsoft Office 365 apps which include Excel, Word, PowerPoint and so many more. Let me show you. But wait, did you also know you had access to Microsoft Power BI, especially Power BI service for free? To see all the apps you have access to, simply visit office.com and log in with the administrative email on your Microsoft developer account and the password you created while registering for the Microsoft developer program. Now you can see all the apps that are available for free and at your disposal all for free including power bi desktop or power bi service to access power bi service in your browser search power bi service login link in the description below Log in with the administrative email and password on your Microsoft developer account. And here you are, you've just got Power BI service for free. Don't forget to send a thank you card to Microsoft headquarters. They will really appreciate it. Quick side note, eh? you can also use the same email and password to log in into Power BI Desktop so you can connect your Power BI Desktop to the Power BI service and publish your reports from Power BI Desktop to Power BI service. So you can do so many amazing things and use features of Power BI Desktop and Power BI service all for free. Now back to the program I mentioned earlier called Microsoft office insider program that allows you to be the first to see what is next for office and give your feedback to help improve office for the future to join the program you need to meet just one requirement and that is having any of these particular license types if you have a microsoft 365 family or personal subscription this makes you eligible for the program also if you have a business and education subscription license this also enables you to qualify for the office insider program to know the particular license type you have open any office application either word excel or powerpoint click on the file tab accounts and look for your license under product information 
If by any chance you do not have any of the above licenses, I encourage you to watch past one of this video to have the required license type. Office Insider for Windows is available for those with a Microsoft 365 subscription on two levels, Beta Channel and the current channel. The Beta Channel, also called Insider Channel, is best for those who want to use the latest builds to identify issues and provide feedback about new features still in development and don't mind the bit of risk involved in using unsupported builds. While the current channel or the insider slow is best for fans or early adopters who want early access but also want to receive less frequent, more stable updates, builds come out monthly and are fully supported. The truth is you are free to select between any of the levels and switch back and forth anytime. But my advice is to stick to one, especially the preview channel if you want more stable, less risky, already tested updates. To join the program from any office app or windows, click on the file tab, accounts, and look for the office insider icon. If you don't have the office insider icon in this section, you can use the global search button on the office app. Search for the keyword office insider. Click on this. In the join office insider dialog box that pops up, click the box next to sign me up for any access to new release of office. Select the insider channel you want. Currently, I'm on the preview channel. I'll just maintain that. Check the box to agree to the terms and conditions. Click OK. And you've just joined the Office Insider program. And welcome to the community. So finally, back to the developer subscription program and what happens 90 days after the developer subscription expires. According to Microsoft, your subscription is good for 90 days and is renewable based on valid developer activity. If you are using your subscription for development, it will be renewed every 3 months and will last indefinitely. Now the big question is, how does Microsoft define development activity or developer activity so what should you be developing after reading the terms of use as stated there by microsoft after reading every word and paragraph in the terms and condition i couldn't find or determine how microsoft track development activities but my advice for now is for you to use the apps for what it is meant for you can use Power BI to analyze any data set you lay your hands on. You can use the Office app for work purposes and you should have your subscription renewed just like I have three times in a row. Please note, I am not a Microsoft spokesperson. This is just a speculation and this is what has been working for me. It is important to note that there are other Microsoft Insider programs you may want to check out like the Windows Insider program the Visual Studio Code Insider Program, the Microsoft Edge Insider Program, and finally the Xbox Insider Program. I right, thanks for watching this video to the end. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like button and share. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and staying to the end, and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.